thumbs up. Okay, so the problem we're doing today is negative three times positive three. So first off, um, a positive, a uh, yellow is a positive one. A red is a negative one. Both of them together equal zero. So we have to um, um, take three three groups of um, negative three. So there's one group of negative three. There's a second group of negative three. And there's a third group of negative three. And why it's negative is because um, both of them are opposite and if it was like shoes, they it would be like um, one wearing opposite shoes. We're gonna leave that out there. Screw off. Okay, so the problem we're doing is 3 minus negative 7. So, um, first, a, a yellow equals a positive, positive one. A red equals n a negative, negative one. Both of them together equal 0. So let's start out with putting positive 3 on, on the board. But to um, um, subtract negative 7, there is no negative 7 on there. So we have to just add them on. But you can't do this because now it equals negative 4. So we have to add the same amount of positives back. Now it's back to the um, equivalent of, um, of 3. Now we can subtract the negatives. 1, 2. The answer is... The answer is 10. Hi, my name is Trent and I'm from Aurora Middle School and this is the problem we are going to be doing today. It's negative 7 plus um, positive 12. And um, so let's first set up the um, chips. First we start out with setting up negative 12. Negative 7. Negative 7. 1, 2. And then we have to add... We have to add positive 12. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So a, one yellow is a positive. One red is a one negative. Both of them together equals zero. So let's make... Let's, we have to pair these up to so the zero. And we only have yellow positives left over, so one, two, three, four, five. The answer is positive five.